Hello and welcome to the Tech for All channel. I'm very excited because this is the first time ever a web store has decided to send me over a product for a review. And we already have an arrangement. I'm going to make the review as honest as possible so it's not going to be extra nice or extra bad. If you want to send a device over for a review, feel free to check the description and find out how to reach me. And of course, thanks a lot Gearbest for providing this um, FPV drone. Speaking of which, let's have a look at it. There it is, the Visuo drone. Pretty weird name. And it reminds of the uh, DJI Mavic. No surprise, of course they want to get some market share thanks to that. So it should be pretty compact looking into the pictures. And let's switch the view and have a look what's inside the box. The model I got is the XS809W. From the grey and black colour options, I have the latter one. Apparently you have three main versions of the drone, without camera, with a non-FPV camera and with an FPV camera. And it might or might not have a barometer function. Apparently mine is with the Wi-Fi cam with manual controls. The box is actually good, because the drone doesn't really need assembly, you can use it as a carrying box all the way. I'm sure it will do a good job. Considering the low price, you have the standard accessories. The prop guards are quick mountable, no screws are required. There's a charging cable, good surprise, it is micro USB standard. I would recommend using the supplied one because it has an LED indication and won't overcharge the battery. A joystick-like remote controller. And the drone itself. Foldable arms make it easy to carry and very compact. There's something I need you to hear though. Yeah, materials could be slightly better. That is one of my few remarks. I do have the feeling that this drone is not a survivor and a drop may easily cause a damage to the arms. The FPV camera is 4K, 5 km distance range and supporting HDR and follow me functions. Uh, not really, that was a joke. It is 0.3 megapixels and has a range of up to 100 meters, which I'm about to test rather soon. It took me some seconds to figure out the way to pull out the battery. Just press it hard and it goes out. 900 milliamp hours giving you 10 minutes of flight time. And here's the moment where I want to spin the motors for the first time. Let's put the batteries in the RC. Our surprise is that it requires three AA batteries only. Fair enough. If you have ever controlled another drone with a similar size and brushed motors, you will feel rather comfortable. This one has three speeds, 
Headless Mode, Return to Home Key and the rest of the well-known commands. The drone is designed to work with the XSW UFO app, one of the best-rated drone control apps in the Play Store. Procedure to connect is quite simple. Note that you can't use the remote controller and the app simultaneously, you have to make a pick. Bottom line, you pay less than 50 bucks and in return you get an excellent starter kit. 100 meters of range coverage, foldable arms, Wi-Fi FPV cam, an embedded in the RC smartphone stand, headless mode, home return key, three different speeds, and plenty of other wonderful features. Among all the advantages, I will only point at the plastics quality, which I have some doubts at, but haven't tested yet. If you're wondering whether to buy this drone or not, I will say it loud, yes, go for it. There will be a follow-up with some actual flight footage, and until then, you can hit that thumb up button, then the subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And thanks for watching this one.